Well, hello, hello, hello. Sam Marwood here from Edge Pledge. Welcome to episode 10 of Edge Pledge TV. We're taking you behind the scenes of us getting ready for our second challenge season uh, in August and September in 2017. Uh, and just all the things that we're, we're doing to uh, help wildlife and help you to have fun uh, and help save the planet. So this week, uh, I'm going to give you a, a quick outline of what's happened. Um, and please get in touch if you've got any questions. Uh, let us know if you're thinking about doing a challenge coming up in August and September. Um, we uh, have a, had a few people get in touch and we're uh, looking forward to seeing what happens this season. Uh, so I want to talk about a launch event. We're thinking about doing something around the 12th of August, probably mid-August, um, at a, an iconic location in Melbourne to get a bit of media attention. Uh, it involves some celebrities, a handful of our environmental partners and people taking on, on challenges and no doubt a few cute little animals as well to get people uh, excited. So that's happening. Uh, we're just doing the planning for that at the moment. Let us know if you've got any uh, amazing ideas for some stunts or something that'll uh, get people's attention. A uh, shout out to someone who's just completed their challenge, Erin, uh, who works at Earthwatch. She has just completed her first ever skydive. Uh, I've seen the footage, it's brilliant. We're gonna put it up online and share it. Uh, well done, Erin, that is for the manta ray. You definitely put yourself on the edge, uh, quite literally, uh, and we love it. And you uh, it took it all in good heart and good spirit, and that's exactly what we want with Edgeplex. We want people to have fun, do something a little bit different. It uh, doesn't have to be skydiving, you could be joining a knitting club. Uh, it's just something that's gonna put you on the edge to uh, show that there are wildlife on the edge that you are helping. I had the pleasure of heading to Western Australia, so I'm based in uh, southern New South Wales uh, and have lived a long time in Melbourne and, and also in central Victoria, but I'd never had a chance really of going to WA, where it, which is where our Potteroo is. And I didn't get to see the Gilbert's Potteroo, but I got to hang out with uh, Keith Bradby from uh, the Gondwana Link project, and there's a link uh, to their Facebook page uh, just here. I do encourage people to check that out. That is an, an amazing visionary project that has really inspired us. It's about connecting over a thousand kilometres of bush through corridors, biodiversity corridors from Margaret River uh, up to Kalgoorlie is, is the aim. And this is just uh, with a bunch of people who are passionate about the environment and they're just getting on and doing it. They've been doing it for 15 years. Keith is an absolute inspiration and spent 15 hours with him in the car the other day and we had some brilliant conversations. And so Edge Pledge is about wildlife. Um, we use wildlife to promote uh, the, the cause of the environment. But this project is very much around landscapes and habitat and you can't really have one without the other. Um, so that's uh, the reason why there is just to, to learn what they're doing, see how we can support them in projects like that. So keep in touch around, uh, we'll give you an update on how things are going with those guys over the next year or so. But it was just an inspiration for us to get out there and see that they're, they're, the one, one of the things they do is purchase farms and, and put and the bush back into place. And you just see the regrowth and you see the, the wildlife coming back and it's a massive inspiration. And uh, yeah, big shout out to those guys and to Keith uh, for, for taking me uh, along for the ride. It was brilliant. Uh, and then talking about wildlife, I just want to quickly highlight one of the animals that you can support through Edge Pledge, which is the eastern quoll. The, the quoll, this quoll, uh, or this, this um, group of quolls is in Mount Rothwell Conservation Centre. Again, you should check those guys out, one of our environmental partners. And it's around a 400 acre uh, predator proof uh, property. And it's an amazing, it was there the other week. Um, we saw some of the the southern uh, brush-tailed rock wallabies as well. But particularly, they look after the eastern quoll, which is just a small marsupial, eats insects, frogs, uh, and it also just scavenges uh, as well. Beautiful small animal. Check it out online, there's a link for it as well. Um, they only live for a few years, which is actually quite um, sad to see such a cute animal only live for a little while. But they're on the edge. Uh, that's the only population in Victoria. They are, um, there's some in, in Tasmania. Um, but check it out. Get to know these animals. They, um, a lot of people probably don't know much about them. And they're our Australian, na Australian native animals. So uh, I encourage you to learn a bit. Check out. We've written up a story about them. Uh, and also, Tommy Little was interviewed as, as an Eastern Quoll. And you can check that on, out on YouTube as well. So guys, there's only a few weeks till launch. We are running around crazy trying to make it all happen and ensure we get uh, people pumped up and having fun for wildlife on the edge. Please keep in touch. Uh, let us know if you've got any questions and definitely let us know if you're willing to take on a challenge or your company is willing to take on a challenge or you've got some friends that you want to share uh, challenge ideas with. Click on the buttons on the website and uh, that will all happen. Uh, speak soon. Cheers.